Hey, it's me Dave from The Code and I got another quick tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to set up your ME system to do your automated bee breeding. Uh, in the past I'd shown how to use the build craft pipes along with some Artarctic gates to set this up. Uh, with the ME system it's a little bit, uh, a little bit easier, not entirely expensive, and uh, much more uh, efficient. So the first thing you're going to need obviously is your apiary. It's going to have to be set down. I have some oblivion frames just to kill off the bees as quickly as possible so that I can test it. And what you're going to need is, after you have your ME system set up, you're going to need what is called the Fuzzy Export Bus, which is a basic export bus with an advanced processor. You're going to put this on the top. It's going to be pointing down into it. And then you're going to need a basic import bus. That's the basic import bus. And this we're going to put on the back. Uh, the positioning of these can be altered. You can mess around with it to see what works best for your system. But this is the way I went with this one. Basically the import bus is going to pull anything out that is inside of this area right here into my ME system and the export bus, the fuzzy export bus, is going to inject the bees into these two sections. So how we're going to set this up is the fuzzy export bus we're going to choose I'm going to be breeding just the meadows to grow, to grow my drone selection. Uh, I'm going to put the meadows princess in here as well as the meadows drone. But at first I want to check my system. Uh, there's only these mixed meadows drones. These all show up in different spots because they have a little bit different uh, characteristics with them. Uh, the way that'll work, put the meadows princess right here. We have it set to move single items. The damage comparison doesn't mean anything. And the Meadows Drone, we're going to put that there as well. Now, you'll see immediately the Meadows Drone gets put in there. It's going to select any one of these that matches the criteria. Uh, because these ones can't stack until one of them is gone that it is actually using. So once this one's gone and there's availability for another space, it will grab one of these other ones. As you can see, there's no Meadows Princesses. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add them in there. And you'll see it pops away and it goes back. And there's my Meadows Princess. What's going to happen is after the Oblivion Frames, or when the, die, the bees die out naturally, they will be put into this section of the apiary. The import bus will then pull it into the system and allow it to be used for uh, more breeding in the future. I'm just going to wait a second to see if when those pop. Okay, so what happened here was my... Uh, my Meadows Princess was actually a little bit of a hybrid and common came in. So that's why it didn't pop in here. If we go like this, it'll grab the next common princess that's in the system and available. And you can see that I used this one to make the copy of it, but it did put the other one that was in the system in there. So this is how you can start to do your crossbreeding. You can always mix them up like that, meadows and forest drone. Uh, you just have to be careful that when they break, if you get a cultivated or a common, they're not going to go back in unless you've selected them in the fuzzy export bus. Very simple setup, very easy to do. Uh, the materials are not incredibly expensive. If you're at that level of the uh, ME system that you, you can have a system built of this size, um, then these should not be too difficult to get together and put put together. Uh, this is a very quick and easy way to do the bee breeding as well as crossbreeding. Uh, just when you start to crossbreed, just pay attention uh, if you lose the princess that you're trying to put in there. So if I don't have any more Meadows princesses, it's obviously not going to put one in there because it doesn't have anything to put in there. Uh, if I grab a, a Meadows princess here, I put the Meadows princess. Now what I'll do is see this one. This one has been uh, identified, okay? This one has not. So if I use the one that has not been identified there, but I put in the identified one, it'll still grab it, and it'll still put it in. So it'll be good. Uh, thank you for tuning in. If this was helpful to you, or if you have any additions or any suggestions for this system, let me know. Give me a like so that my video will be available to more people in the searches. It helps with the channel and the growth of the channel and uh, more tutorials on the way. I thank you for tuning in. I am Dave from the Kodo. Like always, good luck and have fun.